elections shook out. Greene County Sheriff Jim Arnott was reelected. He ran unopposed this year and will stay in his position as the head of the department. Our Jesse Inman spoke to the sheriff today about his priorities going forward. He joins us live in front of the Greene County Courthouse tonight. Jesse, good evening. Yeah, good evening, Heather. This will be the fourth term for Sheriff Jim Arnott, and in that time, even before then, this will also be, uh, he'll be coming up on his 36th year in service with the Greene County Sheriff's Office by the end of this upcoming term here. And, of course, 36 years, that's a long time, and over that time, a lot has changed, and over the next four years as well for the sheriff, a lot will change then, too. Well, I'm humbled that I was unopposed and that I did win. It's very humbling when people put their trust in you and vote for you. With the election out of the way for Sheriff Jim Arnott, the duty of protecting and serving continues. At the top of the list of priorities over the next few years is making sure the new Greene County Jail opens as smoothly as possible. The building uh, itself encompasses six acres. We're pretty excited about moving out there, so that's Probably my biggest goal is getting the staff hired uh, to run that facility uh, in the next two years and then preparing to move in. The pods are already made with the doors on it, the toilet in it, the bunks are in it. We've got uh, construction all of next year and then uh, the first part of 2022 is what we're, we're hoping for. They'll look to hire about 230 workers to help staff the facility, but in the meantime, keeping COVID-19 under control in the current jail is a focus. You know, in August, uh, we had a, a spike of around, you know, 100 inmates that got it. No inmates today, three personnel that have it, and those three personnel are outside of the jail. Arnott says they've developed plans in areas such as sanitation and food service to cut down on potential exposures in the jail. Something else the department faces this year is the beginning of medical marijuana sales, and Arnott says as long as people follow the rules, they'll be okay. Because anything outside of those rules is a law violation. If you're transporting your medical marijuana, make sure it's in the approved container. It's no more than what you can have, and you can't get any marijuana that's not sold through the dispensaries. The other thing is, don't drive under the influence. Now, Arnott says that they do have trained experts on patrol that can perform a field sobriety test and that they actually can determine if you are under the influence of marijuana or other drugs. Arnott also says that they'll always focus on everyday crimes. He says things such as property theft initially went down early in the year. Now those are starting to tick back up a little bit. And he says they always are keeping an eye on the economy and how that will affect certain crimes. Heather, back to you.